Hi, insight number, where are we, four? Insight number four, yes, insight number four. Um, this isn't actually in the Come Follow Me reading this week, but it is such an important scripture for us to give us strength and to remind us who's with us and that we're not alone and we can accomplish these tasks because these are amazing tasks that happened this week in their conquering of the promised land and the whole of Joshua's life. So this is why I put this one in here. So it's kind of not in the Come Find Me manual, but doesn't mean we can't talk about it, right? So in Joshua chapter 14, verses 6 to 15. Now it starts off, this is the dividing up of the land between the remainder of the tribes. Because some of the tribes already took land outside of the promised land. Uh, and they were happy to have that land. They were like, yeah, we're good with this. We're good with desert dwelling. We, we, we'll make it work. Um, so this... The land now is divided between the remaining nine and a half tribes. You're like, how do you get half a tribe? Because half a tribe split off and they went off and did something else. And this is now nine and a half tribes. Um, and it starts at six talking about Caleb. Because remember, Caleb went with Joshua into the promised land as one of those first 12 spies that Moses sent over. So these guys have been buddies for a, a long time. You can imagine their sweet reunion. You can imagine him coming in and saying, I'm coming here for the allotment of our land, but let's have a chat. Let's talk. And that's why it's recorded. The others, not so much recorded. Um, he says in, chat, in verse 7, 40 years old was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me to espy the land. All right? So that's him and Joshua both they went. Um, and remember that the brethren that went up with me and, you know, and with you, um, they, yeah, they came back with a bad report. But he says, I wholly followed the Lord, my God. And Moses swear on that day, saying, Surely the Lord whereon thy feet have trodden shall be thine inheritance and the children's forever, because thou wholly followed the Lord thy God, my God. He's acknowledging the Lord all the way. Joshua knows this because he was with him. Um, and in verse 10, Now behold, the Lord hath kept me alive, as he said, these forty and five years, even since the Lord spake this word unto Moses, while the children of Israel wandered in the wilderness, and now I am this day fourscore and five years old. So now he's 85. Forty-five years since he first went, wanted to go, into the promised land. Him and Joshua were like, yeah, let's go. The Lord's with us. We can do this. Yeah, there's giants. There's ugliness. But we got this. You remember that? Yeah. So, this is the best part. And this just gives me goosebumps every time. 11 and 12. He says, As yet I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now. For war, both to go out and to come in. Now, therefore, give me this mountain. And it goes on to say, and, you know, about what he's going to do. And then in 13, Joshua blessed him, gave him an inheritance. And then 14, that was the inheritance that became the inheritance of that people because that he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. So, yeah, Caleb declares strength still. 45 years later. I am now as strong this day as I was on the day that Moses sent me. Now, therefore, give me the mountain. I don't mind. Give me the hard thing. I'll still do it. Um, because he knew the Lord was with him. I just, yeah, I love that. So as the land is being divided up between the tribes or people, um, Caleb becomes before Joshua and bears testimony of the strength he still has because God is with him still. I just yeah, put down again, can you imagine the sweet tender moment between these two faithful friends, these two faithful leaders of their tribes, and the prophet of the whole thing? I just would have loved to have been there for that conversation, because I think it would have been a whole lot more than what's recorded. Um, but yeah, I just love that Caleb continually declares his testimony of Jesus Christ, and that I was able to do this because of Christ. I am still able to do this because of Christ. Um... 45 years later, what Caleb was promised, he inherits. We need the strength from Christ to accomplish our hard. Caleb's example of knowing he can do anything because the Lord is with him gives me courage to say, now therefore, give me this mountain. No matter how hard it is, the Lord is with me. The Lord has promised me deliverance. 
give me the mountain. I'll take the mountain. I'll do it. Because I know you're with me and you promised me and I promised you, Lord, that I would do it. Because I know Christ is with me. He is my strength. I am weak and broken without him. I am human and lacking. With him, I can accomplish anything he asked me to do. All I do is because of him. The words I have on here come from him. The time that I have, the equipment I have, is because of him. There's been miracle after miracle after miracle to continue to do this. Just one example. And I'm still able to do it. And if it uplifts or it gives one person a good idea, then it is worth it. Um, but I like, similar to Kayla, want to be known as one that wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. I want to be known as that. Holy, W-H-O-L-L-Y, holy, completely followed the Lord God of Israel. I am trying, I'm giving it my best effort. I want to be known that before the day I die or as I die to have achieved that kind of status. I would love to, not that it's a bragging right, but just to be known as that, I think is a great privilege and an honor. And I would love to be known as that. Um, our prophet, Prophet Nelson, he said, the savior is never closer to you than when you are facing or climbing a mountain with faith. And that is absolutely 100% true. And I think most of us know that, that when we're in that moment of climbing the mountain, because we've said, okay, Lord, you're with us. Now, therefore, give us that mountain. And we're climbing that mountain. We're closer to the Lord than we ever would be without the mountain. It's in moving forward again that we have not only the miracles that occur, that we grow, but also that relationship with Christ. It is found in the moving forward. Not sitting where you are. It is moving forward. So cool. All right. Hang around finish up with number five it's a good one and then yay that's that for the week okay see you there